Welcome. Thank you for being here to support your graduates of Uintah Basin Technical College's Daytime Practical Nursing Class of 2021. We are here to take a moment to celebrate the hard work of our graduates. For a mind to thrive, it must always be open to new ideas and it must enjoy the adventures of lifelong learning. Today's ceremony is in recognition of your learning experiences to date and that you have practiced with an open mind. It is also an inflection point capturing what you have gained thus far and a recognition that learning will, in the future, take on a different guise for each one of you. I recall sitting in an audience not dissimilar to this 15 years ago, a room filled with relief, anticipation, and significant anxiety, and an experience which is always useful. Today you, indeed all of us, face a national and global economy which, not unlike nursing school, expects you to embrace change at many levels at a pace yet unknown. Always remember your foundation. Remember, it is okay to continue to ask questions. Nursing can be hard. It's heartache and tears. It's sometimes filled with thankless patients and overbearing administration. It's working long shifts on tired feet, but it's also rewarding. Remember, we chose this profession. We are protectors, the guardians, and the lifesavers. We are the true salt of the earth. We enhance and give meaning to existence. Now that we are here at graduation, where many of you are entering the workforce or continuing your education, remember that being a nurse is not about the grades you earned. Your grades got you here. But being a nurse truly is about being who we are as nurses. No book can teach you how to cry with your patient. Although I hope we have prepared you for these situations, no class can adequately teach and prepare you how to tell their family that their parents have died or are dying. No professor can teach you how to find dignity in giving someone a bed bath. A nurse is not only about the pills you are giving or the charting that needs to be done. It's about being able to love people when they are at their weakest moments. I challenge you to remember that always. Congratulations on all of your hard work and effort. I look forward to working alongside you in the future. The GPA award is designated for the student who has achieved the highest GPA throughout the entirety of the 2021 daytime practical nursing program. Because of this student's hard work and dedication, the GPA award goes to Cheyenne Daybell. Congratulations. The Steadfast Award. The Steadfast Award is designated for the student who has demonstrated a great amount of commitment, devotion, loyalty, and reliability throughout the year. This student has been firm and unwavering in maintaining a constant resolve of excellence in nursing. Because of these constant qualities, the Steadfast Award goes to Cheyenne Daybell. Congrats, Cheyenne. The next award is the Quiet Dignity Award. This award goes to the nursing student who exemplifies grace and dignity while performing the tasks given. Dignity is the quality that is shown by being professional, calm, and worthy of respect. Throughout the clinical, lab, and simulation settings, this person took upon the role given without complaint and participated wholeheartedly, receiving praise from nurses throughout the community and their fellow students. The Quiet Dignity Award goes to Michelle Horrocks. Congratulations, Michelle. This is the Clinical Excellence Award. The Clinical Excellence Award is designated for the student who has demonstrated a high level of learning and interest throughout the clinical rotation. This student has demonstrated a deep desire to gain experience while seeking to apply the critical thinking behind it. There has also been a great display of hard work, going the extra mile, and resilience. Because of these qualities, the Clinical Excellence Award goes to Aaron Dick. Congratulations, Aaron. This award is the highly coveted Sim Academy Award for Best Actor. This award is given in honor of an actor who has delivered outstanding performances in a role in simulation. 
Acting in simulation is what makes the scenario so believable for the learners to be able to apply their knowledge and skills to help with patient care. The winner of this award was able to bring believability and emotion into the scenario to make it realistic. This year's winner of the Sim Academy Award is Tegan Weeks. Congratulations. We're now gonna present the Florence Nightingale Award. Let me give you a little bit of history first so you understand the impact of this award. The founder of modern nursing, Florence Nightingale, was born May 12th, 1820 in Florence, Italy. Despite her parents' objections, Florence pursued her desire to be a nurse. She traveled in order to study European hospitals and worked as a nurse in France and Germany. When the Crimean War broke out in 1854, she oversaw the introduction of female nurses into military hospitals in Turkey. Initially greeted with hostility, she took quick action to improve the deplorable conditions of the wounded, dramatically reducing mortality rates from 40% to 2%. She returned to England as a national heroine, but her work did not stop there. She founded the Nightingale School and Home for Nurses at St. Thomas's Hospital in London and began to train nurses so that they could train others. Despite poor health, she worked tirelessly until she died at the age of 90. Florence Nightingale's influence on nursing continues this day. She personified many of the important ideas that are crucial to nursing today. Values, honesty, vision, and voice. She saw nursing as helping people to live quality lives and promoted the importance of nurses' integrity. She fought for health care for all people, regardless of faith or economic background. She was committed to personalized care and saw that being sensitive to patients' needs, both physical and mental, was the key to their recovery. The Florence Nightingale Award is such a special award because it's given to the one who the class believes will be an outstanding nurse and who has shown caring and compassion to their fellow students, as well as to their patients. The class has voted that this year's Florence Nightingale Award goes to Anna Burson. Congratulations, Anna. Hey everyone, I can hardly believe that we're done and I'm so proud of us. I wanna start off by answering some frequently asked questions and addressing some statements frequently made by our friends and family, our spouses and significant others and kids. First of all, you're always doing homework. Yes, we know, we are always doing homework. Next, are you almost done? Nope, not even close. Third, how much longer do you think you'll be? Um, probably until about May 5th. And last, you can't really have that much homework. Yes, yes we do have that much homework. I'm sure I speak for all of us when I say thank you to UB Tech for this opportunity. Thank you to the instructors and the teachers. Thank you for the time and effort that you have put into our education and our futures as nurses. Most of all, thank you to all of the friends and family and those who have supported us and cheered us on. I never knew I could cram so much into nine months. I never knew I could stay up so late, turn right around and get up so early, and still not be finished. Looking back, the last nine months have flown by. There were, there were definitely weeks that felt like months, but after all we have accomplished and learned, and the growth and improvements made, the time has flown by. I realize I am one of the lucky ones to be in this program, and I am grateful for the opportunity. It is one I will never forget. I love the group that we have. It has been my privilege to get to know all of you and your stories and to learn with you and from you. I consider myself fortunate to have been able to spend the last nine months of my life with you all. I look forward to continuing my education with those of us moving on together and I wish the rest of you the best of luck. I sincerely hope our paths continue to cross in the future. We did it guys, good job. And PS, don't forget to check your facilities protocol. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, family, friends, and classmates. It's an honor to have this opportunity to speak to you at this graduation. First of all, I would like to thank the faculty of the UB Tech Practical Nursing Program. Thank you for your patience, most of all. 
We each had our questions and our doubts, but all of you were with us every step of the way, guiding and directing us to help us become the best nurses that we can be. I feel confident that every one of us students has learned something valuable that will forever apply to our careers as nurses. Our families have been with us every step of the way. As you all know, this program requires a substantial time commitment. Our families and other loved ones have stepped up to the plate to take care of our children and other obligations that had to be put on hold in order for us to succeed. We can only hope that one day we can return the favor. Last but certainly not the least, a huge thank you to our fellow students. Over the past nine months, we have grown and learned together in ways that will be unforgettable. We have laughed together, cried together, and vented our frustrations together. But all these things have made us better people and much and better friends to one another. I can only hope that we will cross paths in our future schooling and future jobs as nurses. These bonds will be forever. As hard as the days were, we never quit. If there's one piece of advice I can offer to you all listening is to always strive to be better each and every day. The small and simple things make a difference. A quote that has always helped me throughout my life has been, the difference between good and great is just a little extra effort. Let us all put forth that little bit of extra effort to improve each and every day. It's okay to take it slow, it's okay to take it fast. The most important thing is that we strive to be better and find the good in all that we do. We did it guys, now on to our next adventure. Before God and those assembled here, I solemnly pledge to adhere to the code of ethics of the nursing profession, to cooperate faithfully with the other members of the nursing team, and to carry out faithfully and to the best of my abilities the instructions of the physicians or the nurse who may be assigned to supervise my work. I will not do anything evil or malicious. I will not knowingly give any harmful drug or assist in malpractice. Congratulations. Congratulations, guys. I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Congratulations, everyone. I am so proud of you. I can't wait to see what you do in the future. Congratulations, guys. You'll be amazing nurses. Hey, guys. I just wanted to tell you congratulations. You are awesome. You survived the year of the LPM program. I can't wait to see what the future holds for each of you. Good luck. Congratulations. You did it. I wish you well. 